Today we are opening Walmart's graded mystery boxes. What's up guys, we're back with another video. Today we have two of the old mystery boxes from Walmart where you could get a graded Metal Raiders card. These are actually like a couple years old and they're very tough to find on eBay. They were around like 90 to $100 each, which they are retail to like 25 or something. I couldn't find a lot of listings for them, so it seems like they are pretty hard to find at this point. So this should be a pretty fun opening. But before we start, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. That is a super rare Dark Magician Girl. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about this mystery box compared to the current one we opened a couple days ago. The video is up in the corner if you have not seen it. All right, let's get into our first mystery box. So on the box, you see Beast Skull Dragon, Mirror Force, Gate Guardian. They're all potential. They're, they're graded by BCCG, which is not PSA. It's like the worst BGS. I think it is BGS, but like they do a lower class or something weird. So they're not worth a lot, but it's still pretty cool to get those and they can be worth a little bit. One Metal Raiders graded card, one Legacy Pack and four Booster Packs. Let's see what's on the back. We have more graded cards. Yeah, you can get rares in here and that's usually what you will get. Karibo is cool. We've got Metal Raiders, uh, Shining Victories, the Flames of Destruction. Structure Breakers of Shadow, Code of the Duelist, and Dark Saviors. These are pretty old at this point, so we won't get any Fist of the Gadgets, I don't think, like the other ones. All right, let's open this thing up. Let's see what is inside. Okay, let's see. First item, we're gonna save the graded card for last. We're gonna do these one at a time. We have a Code of the Duelist. Without fail, we will find Code of the Duelist. This was the garbage pack of the day when these came out. Okay, let's see if we can get that firewall because that's pretty much all we can hope for. These seem to be European packs, so that's it. That's interesting. Let's see what is inside the first Code of the Duelist pack. We get chosen by the World Chalice. World Legacy Landmark. Destiny Hero Dangerous. That is a common. Oh, I didn't know that. The Junk Breaker and the Goki Super X. Wait, what would it be after this? Oh, Castle Link. We got ourselves an Ultra Rare. I don't think this is a very good card, but it is an Ultra Rare, so that means it is not guaranteed. You will get a Super every time in these packs, but Ultra is obviously a step up from there. Crown by the World Chalice and Supreme Rage. Okay, starting off a little slow. We got ourselves a, uh, a nice Code of the Duelist. Let's see what this is. This is... Oh, Dragons of Legend Unleashed. That is nothing to uh, snuff your nose at, turn your nose, what you, whatever the expression. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, this is pretty cool. We have two booster boxes of this, actually. So, or actually, one. I think one sold. Yeah, one more. So, it's for sale. If you guys are interested in a booster box of this, hit me up. Tyrant Burst Dragon. We've got a Red Eyes Transmigration. Cool. Scrum Force. There's one secret at the end. The Flower Cardian. I think the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon might... Dragon Knight, not Might, is an ultra rare in this pack, so we would we will not get it here. Flower Cardian Light Shower. That's still a really cool pack to get. I don't think that's like a great card, but still pretty cool to get that pack in there. Next pack we have. Okay, that is that is the graded card. We do not want that yet. We have a Extreme Force. Okay, yeah, this one's not too good anymore either. It does have Star Yuja and Heavy Metaphors Electromite. That's what we're looking for. All right, let's see. I've told the story many times about when I did pull the Electromite because I was buying uh, packs just to get the Lost Art, the second one ever. It was a piece of Exodia. I don't remember which one it was. Okay. Motorhome Transport. Test Run. Sumo Spirit. Link Hole. And we have Mythical Beast and the Seeker Rare, hopefully. Overtex. Overtex Quatsless? I, I don't know. Scramble Egg. This, uh, yeah, this one always really got me because that L and that I definitely look like a U, which is definitely not appropriate. <laughs> Do we have what? One more pack in here? Two more packs in here. We have Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh my goodness. This could be good. A old school legacy pack. Let's see if this gives us anything epic. Legacy pack could be the blue eyes white dragon dark magician red eyes black dragon anything like that monster reborn Here we go dragon treasure head of exodia. We'll take that as well kumutoko raigeki Beva Woolia, and Fusionist a regular rare we got a king fog electro whip frenzied panda and hino thomas so on to the final pack before we get to the graded reveal and then we have one whole other box we have Go to the Duelist. Now I'm remembering you got like two of these, which it seems bad, but now that we have three Fists of the Gadgets per box and the other one, the current one, doesn't seem as bad anymore, but it's still pretty bad. Boogie Trap, Air Cracking Storm, Vindred Hound Horde, and Trap Tricks Mantis. All right, hang on, Mac and Stack Reviver. So not the best packs in here, but we do have our graded card. Let's see if we can not ruin it. 
This way is the way to not ruin it. Let's move the box out of the way. Yeah, so it is technically Beckett BGS, but it is like the worst crappy version where they give a 10 like every single time, which I don't even understand the point of grading something. If you're going to get a 10 every time, it doesn't make sense. Let's see. If it's a rare, it's a loss. If it's anything that's hollow, that's exciting. Oh, Summon Skull! No way! That's probably like one of the best ones you could get because it's all Metal Raiders. Could have been Gate Guardian or this. I'd say are like the top two. Maybe like Beast Skull or something. And look how they do it. 10 mint or better. And they're all 10s. So I don't really get it. But it's still really cool to see. I mean, there's looks like there's junk in this case. But still a really awesome slab to get. I mean, I bet it still has some value. Which, because it's Summon Skull. That's pretty awesome. I'll look for a price on eBay. On to the next box. Because that was some bad packs. But man, did we get a nice graded card. Let's see what can happen this time in box number two. Okay. We have gotten it out. Now let's see if we can get some epic packs out of here. Maybe the packs, you know, up the, the game a little bit. And the last code of the duelist, we have a Pharaoh Servant. So it looks like we got either multiple legacy or we got it first. Let's see. Pharaoh Servant, can we get the Genzo? We have pulled Genzo a few times on this channel. Let's see if we can keep it up, guys. We have a Thousand Eyes Idol, Mystic Probe, the four starred Ladybug of Doom, and Insect Barrier. And Skull Invitation and Driving Snow. So it looks like there's nothing in there. Next pack. We have, oh, we have a blister pack in here. We're going to save that. We have a Destiny Soldiers, which actually does have a few cards worth something now. Back then, it was kind of a junk pack, but it's a little bit better now. It does have a lure in here. I think some of the Dark Worlds are actually, or the Dark Lords, I should say, are actually worth something. So that's pretty cool. We've got an Over Destiny. That's pretty cool. Abyss, ass, Abyss Actor Sassy Rookie. There we go. The Sassy Rookie Escape from a Dark Dimension. Prometheus King of Shadows. And Dark Lord Contact. So I think this one's actually okay. Worth a couple of bucks. So that's not too bad for a nice uh, Destiny Soldiers pack there. The best part about these is seeing some of the older packs that like you just haven't seen in a while. So that's pretty fun. Let's see what the next one's going to be. Next small booster pack. Ah, Code of the Duelist. Our best friend. It's good to see you. Code of the Duelist. They must have printed... I mean, they printed the crap out of this because this was the first Link set, I think. So it makes sense why they printed so much. We got a Vice Typhoon. Typhon? Zombina? Zombi Wait, isn't Zombina, like, kind of worth something? I'm not sure. Spring King Dragon and... DDD Wave High King Caesar. All right, Revenge Red Origin. Performer Pal, Samurai Skull, and Twilight Claw. On to the next pack. What will it be? Uh, are we in the last two? Wait, no, there's one more. Okay, three. There's a graded card and two more packs. <sighs> Another code of the duelist. Okay, yeah, you guys see, you guys see the consistency, like compared to the old one. I mean, the newest one we just opened the other day, and this one, you see the consistent, you know, decisions they're making. The worst set that they have, tons of, they put two or three of them in there. So it's kind of like, ah, let's. How can we get rid of these? We'll put in a couple of cool things, and then mostly garbage or like half garbage at least. The Ascendant of Thunder. We got Air Cracking Storm, FA Sonic Meister. Chosen by the World Chalice. And will it be the Firewall? No, it will not. Trickstar Licorice. Alright, recall. And Revendred Origin. Okay, I'm really curious to see what this blister pack is. So let's see if the blister pack code of the duelist. Oh, Flames of Destruction, first edition. Okay, there's some pretty good cards in here, like Ghost Bell as well as the Infinite Impermanence are both crazy, so that would be pretty cool. We're obviously going to open it, so here we go. Yeah, this is a pretty good set. I mean, they have been reprinted, of course, by now, because this is like a 2018 set, but even the original prints are still worth quite a bit at this point. So if we pull something crazy like that, this is an epic box. We've got a Restoration of the Monarchs. Goki Octo Stretch. The Gurgons in Gurgon Space Insulator. That's a just a generic link to interesting. And a red reboot. This card's actually good. I mean, it's a good card. So it's a good super FA Dawn Dragster, Battery Man Solar, and Crystal Master there. And finally, we have is this is this the last thing? Yep, here's our last. Let's try not to ruin it. Okay. I won't ruin it for you guys. I I saw that it is a monster. That's the only thing I know here. It's a monster. It's probably a rare, but I'm not really sure if it's obviously a hollow. I mean, we already hit the Summon Skull, so let's see if we can hit anything even close to that good. A Witch's Apprentice. So that was what I was expecting the first time, and this is what we got. So out of two, I'm going to take the Summon Skull. That's still really good. Witch's Apprentice, 
not so good. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. If you guys want to see more mystery boxes, I actually have two of the one with the dual saga slash gold series. I'm probably going to post that one in the next couple of days because you liked the last mystery box video. And if you like this one as well, then I'll post that one. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duels Kingdom Cards, and Speculate Farther. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.